All right, so it is that time of year, new Jeep. Uh, also did the 40s, obviously. So to compensate for that, we're gonna be doing the same similar setup as we had on Big Sauce. So we're gonna be doing an Evo truss kit on the front, you know, aftermarket upgraded ball joints to help with that, just, you know, the overall wear and tear, everyday driving and wheeling off-road. So uh, just like last time where you're doing this uh, right after work. So I'm gonna be pretty much on a time crunch of having to drop it off also. So I'm gonna try to get this knocked out quick as possible. Also, again, this is not gonna be a tutorial on how to weld a truss on your axle. This is just gonna be taking you guys along for the ride. So hope you guys enjoy. Gonna be pointing out a few things here and there as we go along. Basically, uh, from what I learned last time, I think the easiest thing to do that I'm gonna start with is gonna be taking the tires off so I get to everything and then taking the drive shaft out. That way that's already disconnected out of the way because that's one of the one of the trickier things that you kind of have to, you know, put it in four wheel drive to hold it locked down in place to take the bolts out to get leverage on, etc. But yeah, and I'm also gonna be kind of treating this like a uh, lift kit. So I'm gonna be taking the uh, springs out first so that way we don't have any tension when we pull the axle out gonna be doing those major things first yeah it's gonna be pretty much self-explanatory you know drive shaft springs shocks sway bar and then um obviously you know the steering and stuff like that track bar and all that good stuff and then you know what really comes last is gonna be supporting the axle and then doing jack stand so they can pull it out
All right, so Axel's out. Finally, uh, last time that we did it on Big Sauce, it took about two hours uh, pulling it, you know, by myself. But uh, this time it only took an hour, maybe some change, maybe an hour. Um, yeah, I kind of knew what I was doing a little bit more. I was like a routine, so pretty cool. Got everything disconnected, uh, really methodically, a lot better than last time. So I got everything out really quick this time was able to get it out really safe as well too so that is now a hover jeep see you guys can see the control arms drive shaft shocks uh breather yep so there's the uh, shocks got the brake calipers tied up got the breather hose uh right there see so you got the control arms stock control arms for now i'm gonna be replacing those anyway soon sway bar pull back and all that stuff ABS line pull back, got pretty much the uh, brakes and spacers, everything off the axle that I can to go ahead and get it prepared for the, the welding. Got the drag link tied up, zip tied up, track bar, obviously got that zip tied up pretty good. Same thing over here. Got it on some uh, safe and secure jack stands. Oh no, you got it pulled out on the wrong end. It's gonna get tighter this way. Oh yeah, we got the axle loaded up on the Explorer right here in this uh, blanket protection. Got a good old ratchet strap. Got to load it up, boys. All right, time to drop off the axle. We got, obviously, the axle all loaded up. All right, so there's the box of metal that is about to be burned on. So it's going to be pretty cool here. Give you guys a better look at all that. <laughs> Thank you. 